everyone. Welcome back to Pipes, Tobacco, and Whiskey. So this is our last uh, blend for holiday blends. Um, what we're doing today is Sutliff's Christmas Spice. Mm. And to kind of give you a heads up, well, we're smoking two different versions of this. We're smoking a fresh, fresh batch, which was given to you. When did you get that? About a month ago? Yeah, I ordered that back in November, anticipating. You know, getting ready for the holidays mm -hmm. on that one. So, I was and then my, the version that I have is uh, over a year old. Mm -hmm. It's been sitting in a in a canister for for over a year. And so, we're going to talk about both, but we're going to rate the the if if you bought it new. Yeah. Now we've got this from uh, I ordered it from uh, SmokingPipes.com, but you can also get it at Pipes and Cigars and Cup of Joe's and some mm -hmm. of those places. And average cost on this is about two dollars and twenty four cents an ounce, and it comes in bulk. Uh, this is not available in tin. So anyway, uh, it is an aromatic. It's got black Cavendish in it. It's got Burleys in it. It's got Virginias in it. Mm -hmm. uh, toppings on this one is is uh, cinnamon, caramel, vanilla is what they list. Uh, but I think it's got also maybe a couple of other things in there as well. Uh, it, according to Tobacco Reviews, this is a ready rubbed. Uh, I, I looking at it, it's 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 definitely a ribbon cut. Yeah. So um, you know that that it's it's easy to smoke. The black Cavendish is kind of a coarse cut, uh, but the Virginias and Burleys in here are kind of a ribbon cut. So anyway, um, and. As far as uh, moisture content, when this came to us, it's wet. Yes. Uh, even I was surprised after opening that jar, the jar up after a year, uh, how moist it still is. Um, of course, you know I sealed it pretty good. So, but still, it is moist. I've had to let it dry out quite a bit. Um, strength on this is mild. Uh, flavorings on this is pretty strong. Uh, especially in the fresh batch um, uh, taste on it is mild and we'll talk about some other things as we go along so uh, what's your first impressions on the tin note with this one um, with the tin note it smells like Christmas you get that cinnamon kind of smell to it you're gonna definitely get uh, those vanillas uh, but cinnamon and vanilla was mostly what I got at the States honey in there yeah if you take a big whiff you might get that but it's it definitely smells like a Christmas blend you know what I mean? Yeah, the cinnamon comes out pretty strong in the fresh fresh batch. Now, in this aged version, all of the flavors have kind of... Uh, it mellowed out quite yeah, a bit. Been yeah, been subdued. The, the, the tin note is rather mild uh, as opposed to what they listed as strong. And everything has, has kind of mellowed out. The cinnamon is no longer the predominant smell in that. It's more sweet now with caramel and vanilla. Yeah, I definitely preferred the uh, the year old version as opposed to the uh, brand new one. The brand new one was just a little much for me. It just it smelled so much like an aromatic. There was so much going on. Well, the brand it's not, new, the, it's not bad, but it's just it's a lot. Yeah, you know? the, a new batch of this is heavily um, flavored. It's mm -hmm. got lots of toppings on it, so it's and it's very thick on there. It's wet. Yeah. 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 What do you, you think? Cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon. It, it's just cinnamon. That's yeah. that's all I smell. There's there's a lot going on with it. I, it's, it. It's just got a lot of complexity to it. Almost like a, I, I I smelled like a sugary kind of smell as well. And it it, it, it it felt like whenever I opened it up and I smelled it, there's like a vapor, like a stickiness, kind of hitting your nose. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure out. there's also some like. A, and that was the new one, not necessarily. So, yeah, some some kind of a simple syrup mm -hmm. that's that's in there to give it a sweetness, mm -hmm. a sugary sweetness too. I mean, the tin note's good. Don't get me wrong. Not and bad it, at it, all. It reminds me of Christmas yeah, it's just, very much. It's just it so it much. reminds me also of like those scented candles, mm -hmm. like a cinnamon spice scented candle. Yeah. But I, I'm with you. I prefer the old the aged version mm -hmm. uh, because everything has just kind of mellowed out. It doesn't seem so goopy like it did when I first bought it. Yeah. All right. What about the tastes? What are you guys thinking on the taste? At, at first, it, it tasted like almost nothing. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get much flavor at all until I got about halfway down the bowl, I feel like. And once I got there, you know, you could taste a, a little bit of vanilla, but mainly cinnamon and 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 it, 
it's not even extremely sweet. It's just no. It's really well hard. now, but you're this is your first tasting of it. Is the aged stuff? Yes, right? I didn't try the new stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. But but it's not even extremely sweet, and I'm used to a little bit sweeter blends, so it's not terribly bad when it comes to the sweetness. Some of them can really be overpowering mm-hmm. on the sweetness, and especially the how wet it is trying to get it lit and everything. This mm-hmm. one's like kind of a middle ground for it. I, I've had tobaccos that are just impossible to light. I've been li- I've been li- I've been leaving the jar open for months now. Still impossible to light. I think you got ripped off on that tobacco. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, not gonna say what it was, but yeah. it's still upsetting. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, when it, when it, on the fresh batch, to me, the cinnamon is is very much in the forefront. Yes, uh, it, it's it's predominantly cinnamon with little hints of vanilla and spice and, and you know maybe like a nutmeg or something like that or an all spice. Um, and the caramel, the sweetness, but in this version, everything has just mellow, mellowed out, and it's kind of, it's difficult to just pick out one flavor. I'm getting a little bit of the cinnamon, a little bit of the vanilla, a little bit of the caramel, a yeah. little bit of honey in, in, kind of hidden in there. Oh, and after the second relight, too, I'm getting a lot more flavor with mm-hmm. the... Uh, not so much the cinnamon, but the other ones, the caramel and the vanilla and stuff like that. I'm getting a lot more of those flavors rather than just, you know, at cinnamon the, tobacco. At the end of the taste uh, I, and some of the retro hail, I get um, a little bit of that spice, that allspice kind of mm-hmm. taste in it, there, too. It, it's definitely getting better the further it gets down the bowl. Well, I'll talk about, like, brand new stuff because that's what I've been pretty much smoking on throughout the month of December. I got two ounces of it. It's not my regular everyday smoke. I usually smoke my just regular Virginia, and then I have that Sutliff Black Coffee. I got a lot of that and, you know, a few things that you've kind of gifted me, but this one kind of makes it into the rotation every now and then. But the brand new stuff, there is just a, like, I guess we talked about the 10 note, there's a lot of that simple syrup smell to me. The taste of that new stuff. I get a lot of the cinnamon, and then right behind that is going to be all the simple syrup, just kind of sugary taste to it. It's, if you're not a regular aromatic smoker, it might taste a little bit sweet to you. Um, Almost at the new stuff. There's also, to me, a little bit of an artificial taste yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's an artificial sweet, like sweet not so much taste. on the aged stuff. No, the aged stuff I prefer quite a bit. If you were to pick up some of this, I would let it sit for a year. It's it's no well I mean, it, roughly I roughly. If know? I remember rightly, I bought this right <laughs> after Christmas. You know, knowing uh, I had read about it and knowing that that it was going to go out yeah. and probably not be available, I went ahead and bought it. About a half a pound or maybe a pound. I don't remember exactly. And it's just been sitting the whole time, you know. I prefer the aged stuff because you get a little less of all the toppings and all the artificial stuff. And it's not as goopy. It's still kind of goopy, but you seal the crap. And to me, the burlies so. are coming out a little right. bit in and this, you're, too. You're the nuttiness taste, of the burlies. You're going to taste more of the tobaccos in the older version if you let it sit for a year like we did versus the newer stuff. The newer stuff, it's a good dessert tobacco during Christmas. Well, and I the new stuff... I could smoke this more often than just Christmas time. Mm. The new stuff, it reminds me of Christmas. It gives me that Christmas holiday um, uh, jitters kind of feel, yeah, yeah, feel to it. Mm. But after that, I, I don't really want any more. Um, no. So <coughs> this, the, after it's been sitting for a while, uh, kind of give makes it more of an all year kind of a blend yeah, rather right. than rather than just one particular time of the year and also just with the uh, the moisture content on there letting it sit for a little bit I, that just helps me. my fingers feel sticky after I load the new stuff like I said not a bad tobacco by any means yeah. but it's still just it's a little sticky for my preference so. well it is it is a little sticky uh, when you buy it new and, and it does require some work mm-hmm. to kind of keep it lit and, and making sure that it doesn't you know doesn't burn hot mm-hmm. and things like that because yeah, it can that new stuff can burn hot this one is it's not bad it's not bad yeah, yeah it's really not uh, uh offensive at all it's kind of uh burning cool uh i'm taking my time with it too you yeah. know but but it's kind of burning cool um it's it, it's not like some of the stuff that i the some of the stuff that i usually smoke on that you smoke uh, some of the same kind of stuff you pack it and go. You know, this one you're gonna have to sit and contemplate a little bit. You work, know, work it. You know? Typically, aromatics don't do well in an aged situation, mm-hmm. and exactly what has happened 
to our blend is what happens when you age aromatics is that all of those topping flavors begin to just dissipate mm. uh, and some can even turn rancid a little bit really? yeah no, but for this particular blend that one year has helped it now i'm not convinced it's going to last another year uh to to be able to smoke next christmas uh, i may save some and set it aside and and see what happens, see what happens yeah. but uh but for for the most part r aromatics are those that you're going to smoke right when you get them uh, and not age them so hmm. so what did you guys think about the room note i like it um you'd think with a christmas blend it's smelling like you know too much like the christmas seasonings the nutmeg and cinnamon and stuff like that oh. but it, it doesn't really overpower cinnamon hmm. especially like i know it's not necessarily an exact room note but off the drags and off the off the smoke that's coming from you both of them it's it's pleasant it's a little bit of cinnamon and it just smells like you know i mean christmas mm -hmm. i mean it's not I'm not trying to be cliche but it, yeah. it smells like christmas, it's christmas it, to me it kind yeah. of smells like one of those <laughs> scented candles mm -hmm. uh, again you know um I I I like to smoke it in a cob rather than in a briar. I've tried I've tried it in both, and I prefer it out of a cob. I just didn't bring a, a cob with me this time, so I, I think it smokes better in the cob, and I think that it kind of helps absorb some of the the hotness and some of the uh, the uh, flavorings that typically would get passed through in a briar. That a cob kind of helps absorb that. Um, when it was new, I only smoked it during the holidays, and I and then, like I said, I tubbed it and then didn't mess with it again until the, we got ready for this episode. Uh, it was the 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 fresh batch stuff has too much cinnamon in it for me mm -hmm. to enjoy, uh, but the aged stuff does come come a little better. Um, I don't get very much tobacco taste in this at all. No, like you mentioned earlier, a little bit of the burly. Um, the older stuff, the newer stuff, though, I'm, I'm with you. There's there's not a lot of tobacco flavoring going. Yeah, on. I mean it's it's mostly all about the toppings mm -hmm. on on that. I think this is something that Santa Claus would smoke. <laughs> I like to think that you know, <laughs> just riding in a sleigh and just yeah, smoke a pipe. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think I I, I think that this would be a, 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 a fresh out of the bag, a great Christmas smoke. But you're not going to want to mm. touch it after that. Mm. If you get a chance to age some of it, it's worth doing it. It's worth doing buying, especially if they're having a sale on it, you know, after Christmas. I'm sure they will. Buy some. I think that's where I got it. I buy some and, and then sell it for a year. Come back the next Christmas and, and I think you'll enjoy it. <coughs> uh, the Nick hit, what did you think about that, guys? Mild to uh, not present, really. Yeah. So when, when, you, when you got an aromatic like this, for me, I, I, I don't really get a big Nick hit. Um, it's it's just not really present. It's really more about the toppings and the flavors and stuff like that. It's not necessarily going to be a uh, after work smoke for me. You know, just trying to dial down and relax. It's 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 pretty mild. Yeah, I don't get I, I don't get much of a Nick hit yeah. at all. Yeah, you uh -huh. N not really. And the majority of the ones I smoke aren't like ridiculously powerful. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely more than this. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's 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 really low. What kind of stuff if, are you usually smoking now? It's the same as usual. Cherokee's always been my number one. Mm -hmm. I'm liking the uh, Flying Dutchman that you sent me. I'm actually surprisingly mm -hmm. impressed with that one. You know, I'm turning more towards Burley's uh, to rotate in my, in my blends. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, in, in my rotation as well. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like the Field and Stream better than the, than the Flying Dutchman. Talked, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but that one... That one's kind of getting more smokes. And, and, and all, uh, one I used to get used or start using a lot was the falling leaves too. Oh, that C and D bl that C and D blend. Yeah, yeah. I actually no, really no, like no. That one. That's Country Squire. The is fall it? falling leaves. Whatever it is, I actually really like that one. Yeah, because the C and D one was the autumn leaves. I think is what it was called. Hmm. The one I had for C and D was autumn evening. That's it. That's autumn it. Evening. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Okay. I was just kidding. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm slowly starting to mix it up more. Yeah. Not not just sticking to only aromatics. I'm trying to branch out. I'm actually looking up reviews, asking questions now, and trying to figure out what I can do to broaden my palate. There you go. Be stuck. Yeah, it's it's about time for you to start doing that. Yeah. I think, yeah. After just kind of try things, you know. And you don't even have to pay for it. You just come over here and try some stuff. Like and all see. Stuff. Yeah, I've got so much of it. <laughs> I, I, I need to start smoking more. <clears throat> all right, so what do you guys give it then? So... 
I think we're in agreement that we like the aged stuff better than the new batch. Yeah. But let's rate the new batch because that's what most people are going to be getting. Uh, they're not going to have access to aged, you know, version of this. So right. um, me, I gave it a, I gave the new stuff a two point five, right in the middle. It's definitely, it, it's it's a Christmas blend. You can't get around it. That's what it is, and they do a pretty good job. Not great, not terrible. Right in the middle for me for their Christmas blend. That's aromatic. This is it, and it's it, it's right in the middle for me. I thought it was really good smoke. I am also giving it a two and a half for the new stuff. I've only tried really the the, the aged, aged the, yeah. but I would imagine with how it would react to the aging and stuff like that, the new stuff would or the new stuff would be a lower rank. I just <clears throat> I feel like the more I would smoke it, the higher I'd start rating it. Yeah. But it's kind it, it it's a seasonal blend. I feel like it's yeah. not one of those. Every day, all year, so no. it it's, limits it. It's tasty. Don't get me wrong, but you got to be in the mood mm -hmm. for cinnamon. Mm -hmm. If if you're not a cinnamon cinnamon lover, don't get this stuff because it is strong in cinnamon when yeah. it's, when you first start out. Uh, after a while, it's kind of uh, mellowed out. But man, straight out the bag, it's it's cinnamon strong. Oh yeah. So that's that's why I give it a two and a half as well. So the, our average rating on this is two and a half. Right in the middle. Very nice. So this is Sutliff's Christmas Spice. Mm -hmm. The aged version, I think I'd give it a three. I think I'm with you. I think I'm with you. I, I could agree on that. <clears throat> At first, I gave the, the the aged one or two and a half, but once I started getting lower in the bowl, it it, it grows. Yeah, it, it kind of grows. Um, last comment I have about it: you got to work it. It's not going to be, like I said earlier, it's not one of those load it and go and just smoke a pipe. No, no, you're going to have to work it. You can be in the mood for it. Sit, relax, and really focus on the smoke, and I, I, th I think it's worth it. After yeah. yeah. Um, and this version, the older version that we have of it, I think I, I would smoke it more often now mm -hmm. that I've tried it uh, after a year. Mm -hmm. um, but the new version is just a holiday blend for me. I, I couldn't get past you know, starting at Thanksgiving, going through Christmas, and I think it has to also do with the weather. It also has to do with what you're eating during those times of the yeah. year, you know, that, that kind of pairs well with that. And then once that those times are done, that changes, so your taste changes yeah. well. I think that has a lot to do with it. Yeah, and I mean, being in Texas, I mean, I'm wearing a T-shirt, and it's Christmas Eve. I mean, <laughs> it's a little bit different here, you yeah. know, so it might, be, it might vary from wherever you're at location-wise as well. So, All yeah. right, well, that's what we have for, for you guys this time. Uh, <coughs> next week, we will start back up with our regular blends, and then we'll also do a couple of whiskeys as well. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah that, 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 and if you have any uh, suggestions send them to us because we'd like to try what you what you're smoking and what you think about some of the blends and so uh, get that info to us and we'd love to kind of uh, get those on the show uh, I wanted to do a shout out real quick to someone that uh, that really took care of me uh, this year back in <clears throat> April or May uh, I came across a, I contacted a guy by the name of Val Shanahan and he is a pipe restorer, uh, uh, repair guy that's based out of uh, Tampa, Florida area. Mm -hmm. And uh, back in that in April or May, um, he he posts a lot of things on Facebook at least twice a week or three times a week. Some kind some pipes that he has for sale, mm -hmm. um, and they're really reasonably priced. But I t I sent him an email and said, Hey, do you have any Peterson Meerschaum pipes and I come across those uh, and you know production on those stopped in 1970 so they're mm. they're they're out there but they're not really easy to find and uh, he said no I don't have anything right now but I'll keep my eyes open six months later he contacted me and said hey I found a Meerschaum a, a Peterson Meerschaum here's pictures of it are you interested in it that's pretty cool. Yeah, and so after six months, he didn't just blow me off. Yeah. He he remembered, he found something, and he contacted me before he posted it so that I would have first shot at it. Uh -huh. So get on Facebook and search Val Shanahan, 
and look at some of his stuff that he's got uh, available. Very fair prices. Uh, he, he had the, the uh, pipe to me in three days or something like wow. that. And he also included a little sampling of some tobacco yeah, yeah, in there. Yeah, so yeah, so, cool. so yeah. it was really cool. So uh, I really highly suggest that you uh, check out his Facebook page and uh, give, him, give him a shout and uh, do some business with him because he's really a nice guy. Yeah. All right. Um, anything about subscriptions? Hey, we hit over 300 this week. So we have, I think, 302 now. Cool. So guys, thanks a lot. Uh, we want more. So <laughs> if, if you can share your, uh, your experiences with our videos to your pipe friends, uh, get them to watch, get them to subscribe. Uh, and also, if you will, uh, make comments, subscribe, right. like, and hit that notification uh, bell so that uh, you can get our videos when they uh, post qu real quick. Mm -hmm. um, that would help us out a lot. We love doing this. Um, and since YouTube has demonetized tobacco uh, use, we're not making a penny off of this. So we just do it to add our opinions to the pipe community and help out uh, with the things that we can. So anyway. And really just hang out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it gives me an opportunity to spend time with my boys. What's so up? it's it's really cool. Yeah. All right. Well, if that's it then, guys. Um, right on. Thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Whatever you guys are into. Happy holidays. We yeah, appreciate and it. Merry, uh, have a happy new year too. New year. Yep. That's yes, coming up well. pretty quick yeah, too. Right so two, 2020. Let's see let's see how we can do in, in 2020. Yeah. 21. All right. 20, guys. 20. 20. 20. 20. Yeah. <laughs> and again, make sure you make all your piping moments count. We appreciate you. Talk Bye to guys. you later. Thanks.